here we are again. We're on that Kong reviewing. It is a bit Kong. It is. But we'll do something else. Sure. Sure. Won't we? Kong. Kong seem to be the flavour of the month at the moment. Yeah. We do have some other stuff. We do. Fire hose toys. Oh yeah. Up. That's true. Yes. So you got to stay tuned for that one. That one's for the really great hardcore chewers, isn't it? That's right. Mm. So do you want to talk about talk us through? Another one of uh, Mad Millie's reviews. Yeah, one of Millie's one of Millie's other faves. For what can I say? Not as favourite as the snake. No, and not quite as favourite as the squeaky ball, but still a favourite that she likes to carry around yep. and do different things with. And that one is this one called Kong Jumbler. This unit here, which I don't know. I'm trying to show you in here. Uh, in the end, see, look. that's actually a ball in there. And this also squeaks. Now, yeah, that's it. I thought the other end so, squeaked. Yeah. Do they both squeak? Yeah. Oh, here oh. comes Millie back again, right on cue, because she heard the it. squeaks. That's me going hard, pressing hard on that, because this is for a tough dog, this yeah. one. Um, so, Kong Jumble is what they're saying here is that the tennis ball inside it, because it's moving, and Louise will probably tell you about the movement stuff for enticing play. The handles for picking up, shaking and interactive, making play easy. So the dogs go and they get their gob around that. Yeah. And then they fling it and carry it. Yeah. Carry it and do stuff. So And they tend to when they're picking up and shaking it and making it move, that encourages more of the game because they're kind of kicking in to their Prey drive, really. Right, okay, so that's what the ball in the end is about. Yeah. So the ball's only on one end, but squeaky's on both ends. I think the ball only on one end is so that it's it's heavier at one end, so that when they're when it's bouncing, it bounces end to end right, rather okay. than rolling. Yeah. I think that's kind of okay, that helps with the, you know, um, random bounce right. pattern of the toy. So it makes the dog have to change direction to chase it. Okay, that's really cool. So these ones are available, like these in different colours. These ones were, this one's a green and orange. This is in the large, large, tri-colour, tri-large, extra-large. And that one's $35. Yeah. And that would be sort of, I would probably give that to a heavy-duty Labrador, mm -hmm. like a larger Labrador, um, Amstaff. Mm-hmm. Um, but, with, but with supervision because with supervision. they can chew through and yeah. Amstaff will just munch through those. And all know. dog toys, well, especially like the Kongs and um, the Outward Hounds and the Gigwees and stuff that, that we have yeah. in stock, all have on them that supervise the play. play with your dog. Yeah. So these toys aren't meant to be left out, and I know we've said it before, in with, the yard yeah. with your dog forever and ever while you go out for work for eight yeah. hours a day. It's just, a, a, a good use for these is if you're hanging out your washing and the washing's blowing in the breeze and the dogs are really excited by that give them something else to think about while you're doing that so get one of these toys is great for that because there you go you go off and yeah. play with that and they'll hopefully bring it back to you and you can toss it a few times mm. so the focus isn't on the washing it becomes on the new object well, that's a good idea because i think that's part of the thing that that's always been your ethos is you don't have to find an hour a day to train your no. dog, right? You just have to find those small moments in your everyday life yeah. of what you're doing. So that stuff of everyone's hanging out washing or the like, or even sticking it in a dryer, whatever you're doing. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't matter. So if the dog's beside you, you can be training yeah. the dog to either sit quietly, sit on its mat, or play with something else. Yeah, great idea. Um, the other one, yeah. the other time you could use that would be if you were trying to sweep and you had a movement oh, orientated yeah. dog. Yeah. So you could throw it that way, away from you, and yep. they have, you know, it, it bounces, and so that becomes more interest, interesting than a predictable broom sweep. Yeah. Um, it's, it's something that my dogs um, have really liked to do when they're really young is chase a broom, and it's a favourite yep. toy. Yeah, I think I've got some video of Ray's doing yeah. that when he was little. Yeah, too. and like, yep. you know, half brushes are really good dog toys until you need to use it. Yes. When the dog's around. When the dog's So, around. you know, <laughs> instead of, you know, telling them off for doing something, give them something else to do yeah. and think about. So I like toys that have a random bounce about them. Yeah. When they hit the ground and they go off in a different direction, it's not as predictable as the behaviour that they would be rehearsing if they're chasing something with you. 
Yeah, I think that makes some, sense. Yeah, it does. And I think there's something in that whole thing of like, instead of just, you know, growling at your dog all the time, yeah. like, oh, there's somebody doing that. Yeah, get off the, stop doing that. So it was like yeah. some redirection yeah, into and another activity. You really want to encourage it to do something um, and, you know, to be kind about it and not to have to keep telling your dog off to, and ask it to stop doing something. Yeah, I think that's really cool. So this is Millie's version, which is like, looks like a squirt version compared to this it does, one. doesn't it? But I wonder what I size it is. I don't know. I think that they, they only came, I think, in two sizes. I think it's small, medium or large, extra large. But this oh, one is yeah. just that little bit heavier. And Millie being, having yeah. the soft mouth, she actually just, the lighter one to flip yeah. around and that. And that's a perfect size for her. And also, Razzie gets this one as well. Yeah. So it's a good size for him. And he's about five kilos lighter than Millie. So, yep. you know, 25 to 20 kilos. They're, they're quite happy with this. So what are you going to rate it? <laughs> well, what does Millie rate it? I think Millie, and it's not, this isn't a reflection on the toy. Because I think that this toy yep. is a, is a four-paw wagging tail and okay. a bit yep. of an ear wiggle as well oh, because right. like this is a this is a top shelf toy i, I like this toy we, we sell a lot we of those sell actually. heaps of these um and have some really good feedback about really that good one. remember yeah. that great dane that came and got yeah, one yeah, yeah. Minor at the right. market That's he right. was he was cool yeah i'm pretty sure he it was picked it he picked it picked out it and yeah. then off the, went around literally shopping. off the table yeah because he was at the yeah. head height of the actual table they looked at it and then gone come on come on and then when they were coming back he said Oh, oh you actually, forgot yeah. to buy my toy, and he swiped it on the way he past. Did. That was he's funny. He was, he was a classic. Oh, oh, I love that brilliant. dog. Yeah. He was he was great. Um, he had the best fun, and he was not letting go. No, of that let go of it. Squipped it, carried it. Yeah, and it was like yeah, anybody, was like anyone who came near him. Then it was just like get away. No, okay, no, no sorry, I'm not. Got the focus yeah. is on my toy. So as far as that goes, like the rating of the actual toy, definitely top shelf, top yeah. top okay. side all around. Millie, in terms of her favourite, it's probably going to be a four paw. Yeah. Yeah, because Which the snake's still, snake's still top of the tree. Yeah. Followed yeah. by Kong, squeaky footy. Yeah. Um, then followed by this. Yeah. So I reckon that's that's the that's okay. the rating for that one. Awesome. So that's cool. So that's Kong Kong Jumbler. These are available in a few different styles that have um got different sort of configurations. So we've got lots of different ones of these. Um, you can see them down at the shop or online at animaltalent.com.au. Yeah, because we've got our new online store that yes. my mate here has been beavering away on, loading stuff in and getting it ready for everybody. Yeah. So you're going to be able to order some of our biggest sellers, really. Um, yeah. They'll all be on, on the shop, yeah. in the shop, on so the we'll shop. Be able to, we'll be able to post them or you can come down and pick them up yeah, on site. down here. That's pretty cool. All right, so these are a couple of different colorways, different sizes. There are some different configurations, but a really top shelf toy again from Kong. Yeah, awesome. And, um, yeah, that's it. I think we're on okay. to, hey, you got to stay tuned for the next video because guess what it is? Oh, the fire, fire hose, hose toys. Yeah. Okay. One for cool. all the aggressive chewers. Okay. Yep. All cool. right. All right.